War Diary Day 615 of Russia's War Against Ukraine. This is a new addition to the Alfresco kind of Russian armory, Russian tank museum in one of um, Kiev's most beautiful squares. It's a Ukrainian passenger train hit by um, artillery round that would have landed on the ground somewhere near this and then the shrapnel punches through and if you go to the other side you can see the holes too. People in this train carriage would have been killed and some of them would have lived but with life-changing injuries. This is one small reminder of what's happening here every day. And meanwhile, what is the West doing? We're not sending enough equipment to Ukraine and we're not sending enough money and our support is faltering. The Americans are arguing about not sending Ukraine any support. What? What are they doing? The French cops have just arrested a Russian oligarch, albeit one with a separate passport, all concerned deny any wrongdoing. He's part of the money behind Letter One. Letter One has just hired a former Conservative cabinet minister, Brandon Lewis. And what he's done is he's become part of the board of this company. Hello? What are we doing here? There's a bloody war on. Innocent people are being murdered by a fascist dictatorship which has invaded a peaceful democracy. And we seem to have forgotten this agony. So we need to arm Ukraine properly. We need to help them. And we need to say to the Russian influencers, or do I mean poisoners, in our societies, go away, stop it, stop working for the enemy. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.